Hello again. My name is George. This drawing was created using AutoCAD. The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. I'll erase the solid, then redraw it. The problem is one of many from my book Mechanical Design Guide. I plan to make more videos and upload them soon. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach have fun with these drawings. When they are available for download, you can draw them too. So let's get started by erasing the small viewport containing the bracket. Next, we'll double click inside the large viewport so as to gain access to model space. One way of starting this project is to break down the existing drawing into three separate parts. It'll be more clear in the next uh, view. If you look to the right side of the screen, you'll see that I have selected three portions of this part to extrude. Before I extrude, however, I have to make sure that they, these three pieces are polylines. That is, they are an enclosed polyline. That can be accomplished in two or three ways. One, by tracing over the part uh, with a polyline, or two, by using the polyline edit command and then joining the poly, uh, making separate polylines and then joining them together. It doesn't matter which method you use. You can tell from the drawing that the do top and bottom portion should be extruded a distance of 1.5 units. Also, that the piece on the extreme right has to be extruded a distance of 0.43 units. After these three parts have been extruded, we want to rotate the top and bottom piece counterclockwise 90 degrees. Before we can do that, however, we have to move into an SE isometric view. To do that, we use the 3D Rotate command, select the object, and pick a base point. As you can see, three, the axis appear in the form of three ribbons. We want to rotate it counterclockwise, so we'll select the green ribbon. That, when we select that ribbon, it turns to yellow, and then we'll type 90 so as to rotate that part 90 degrees counterclockwise. When that has been accomplished, the drawing will look something like what you see on the screen, except that the holes I had to put in. You copy the holes from the 2D drawing and then extrude them. It's necessary to extrude the holes so that they can be subtracted. The three pieces are now complete extrusions. If I hover over any one of them, you can see it gets highlighted. That means it's a polyline that has been extruded. In the next step, we will use AutoCAD's OSNAP commands and precisely locate the two side pieces onto the main bracket. But still, the pieces are not uh, precisely located, so let's move the bracket on the left again. Also, at this time, I'm going to change the color of the bracket to red, hopefully for it to become more visible. And with AutoCAD's union command, I will add all the parts together so that they form one unit. And now, the drawing is almost complete. Using the Visual Styles toolbar, I'll add shading to the, to the bracket. It looks good, so we'll zoom extents and then move into the top view so that we have a clearer picture of the 2D drawing in this viewport. Now that the large viewport contains only the 2D drawing, we will double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Once in paper space, we'll use AutoCAD's MView command, M V I E W to create another viewport, a smaller one. 
If we double click inside the small viewport, then zoom extends and move into SE isometric view, we'll be able to get a better view of the bracket. Also, at this point we can hide the blue viewport windows by freezing the layer called viewports. At this point, I'd like to demonstrate one of the many ways that AutoCAD allows us to rotate an object in 3D space. It's fun, I think it's fun to look at. This is the end of the tutorial. However, I'm adding this clip so that you will become aware of other videos which I am producing. For more information regarding the videos on this clip, please check out YouTube or contact me via email. And don't forget to practice making solid models. It's fun. Thank you for watching.